Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Stories 2. And in this one, I want to put together a handy list of the most important subquests that you should definitely make sure you're doing. The game has a ton of subquests to go through. Some of them are repeatable just for continual XP, and some of them will unlock items. Sometimes it's crafting recipes, other times it is skills for your weapons. And in this video, I want to go over the ones that I deem the most important. This isn't absolutely every single one, but this is the ones that I consider the most important ones that will definitely benefit you through either moves to your weapons, items to craft, or unlocks in other capacities. So if you do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. But to begin with, before we go through all of the unlockable things, I want to start with the clerk quest chain. If you go over to Lelucion and you speak to the clerk, you probably picked this one up quite early on in the game, but you may have just skipped over it. She gives you a quest called Puke Puke Needs Love 2. All you need to do for this one is have a Puke Puke in your team and go and speak to her and it will complete the quest. But this is the beginning of a very important quest chain because completing this will give you level 9 kinship which of course unlocks the ability to do nine star quests, so very important. First things first, do that one, show her a Puke Puke, and then you get the next quest, which is a monster among flowers. For this one, you need to go to Pomore Gardens, and you need to go and fight a Pink Rathian in the subquest den. If you struggle to find these ones, simply set the quest as the active objective, and it'll give you a blue marker so you know exactly where you need to go. Simply go there, defeat Pink Rathian, and then return to her again. Next up, she will then give you a quest called Azure Sea Sky Rathalos. This will, surprise, surprise, have you now go and hunt an Azure Rathalos. Defeat that, return to her, and she will now give you a quest called Deviant Monsters Hakolo. Now you go to Hakolo Island, and you do the only thing that I don't like about Monster Hunter Stories, and that is going around gathering tracks, but you need to go and gather some tracks because that will then lead you to a den, and you will fight your first Deviant Monster. Now, of course, if you've done some endgame stuff, you've probably fought them already, but if you haven't, then this may well be your first time encountering them. You will fight a Silverwind Nagakuga, and upon completing that one, you will then unlock level 9 Kinship. Now, the quest chain doesn't end here, but for the purposes of this video, that is as far as you need to go, because that is what you need to do to unlock nine star kinship so again you can then go to the quest board and you can pick up nine star quests if you do go and return to her she will then basically give you a continual series of quests that will basically allow you to go and hunt the remaining deviants you'll go to various different regions you will of course gather more footsteps you'll then fight the corresponding deviant it's of course a good way to farm them if you want to make the gear but that is pretty much it so for the purposes of unlocking stuff you only need to do that much the rest of it is entirely up to you so, moving on from there to the remaining quests, you have the quest Hung Out to Dry. This will give you the Nullberry Elixir recipe. So if you want to craft a Nullberry Elixir to remove abnormal statuses during missions, during fights, which is definitely very important, then this is the quest you need to do from the Feline Helper. Moving on from there, the quest Anjanath Copycat will give you a Hunting Horn skill, the Evasion skill. So if you want to unlock that for your weapon and you want to use that one, then that one comes from the Wyvarian Babysitter. You then have the advanced quiz from the positive feline in the feline shelter. This one will give you the hunting horn awakening skill if you answer all the questions correctly. I also forgot to mention earlier, but in doing so and in completing the clerk's quest chain, you will also get the recipe for life powders. So if you need to craft those, which again, very handy, you'll also have that. The quest A Test of Perseverance will give you the recipe you need to get the Vital Essence. So of course you want to craft that, which again is very useful end game when you need to replenish your hearts. This comes from the Persevering Feline located in Lelucion. And similarly, the quest Secret Dealings in that same location in Lelucion, over by the Laird Armorsmithy from the Sloppy Artisan, you'll get the recipe you need to craft Ancient Potions. Again, like the uh, amped up version of Vital Essence. The quest Palico Pop Quiz from the Smitten Kitten, also in Lelucion, will give you the Hunting Horn Negate Ailments ability or skill. You then have the quest Popo Protector from the Little Prankster. This will give you the Arc Shot ability for the bow. The quest Tundra Terror will give you the crafting recipe you need for Flash Bombs. I've picked out some of these items just because I feel like these ones are especially useful. There are a few additional crafting ones that I've kind of skimmed over, but for the most part, these are uh, definitely must-have items. The quest Rider vs. Azeros will give you the Greatsword skill Guard. This is from the whiny boy in the Alcala region. You then have the quest Shadows of Red 1. This will give you the Surge skill for the Hammer. This comes from the Kindly Old Man. And then finally you have the quest The Good Old Bag of Bones, which will give you the SNS counter move, which again is a fantastic move for Sword and Shield. 
This one comes from the friendly man, also in Hakolo Village. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. Those are what I deem to be the most important quests or sub-quests that you should be doing if you have not done them already. They will unlock most of the things you need for your weapons, most of the important crafting recipes, and of course, that nine-star kinship. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Any questions, drop them down below, but otherwise keep it locked for plenty more stories content. If you want to catch more from us at Arex Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.